Hello everyone, welcome once again to my YouTube channel DIY Repairs. Today we are going to repair these metal detectors and also see how it works. So let's open it. It works on 9 volt chargeable battery. There is a socket to connect the charger here. This is an on off switch. Let's check it by putting a simple 9 volt battery in it. You can see that there is a continuous beep sound in it even though there is no metal near it. Let us open this metal detector also. This contains coils and indicators. This is its battery compartment. This is its main circuit board. Let's check this also by connecting a 9 volt battery. You can see that only the battery was bad in it. In addition to the beep sound, this model also has a vibrator motor. By turning on this push button, when this metal detector comes close to a metal, the sound of the beep stops and the vibration starts. Before repairing this metal detector that is constantly beeping, let's look at the working principle and circuit diagram of a very low frequency metal detector. It operates using two distinct coils a transmitter coil and a receiver coil. A time varying current generated by the circuit is fed to the transmitter coil which generates a low frequency magnetic field. This magnetic field also induces an electric current in the receiver coil. This 1 kilo ohm preset is adjusted in such a way as to cancel out the phase differences between the primary and secondary currents. But when a metal object comes close to the coil, the magnetic field generated by the transmitter coil interacts with the object and induces an eddy current in it, which in turn generates a secondary magnetic field. The receiver coil then interacts with this magnetic field and produces a current proportional to the strength of the field. This current is then sent to an operational amplifier for comparison. The greater the phase shift, the greater the beep sound we hear. Phase shift refers to the difference between the transmitted and received signals. This is circuit diagram of very low frequency metal detector. This section is low battery indicator. You can see that the base of this transistor gets 1.14 volt when the potential of battery is 9 volt. We can calculate this by dividing 9 volt by the sum of these resistances and multiplying by the resistance of 12k. Since the base voltage of this transistor is greater than 0.7 volt, it turns on. This transistor is on, so the base voltage of this transistor is 0. So this transistor remains off. When the battery voltage drops to 5 volt, the base of this transistor receives only 0.6 volt, so it turns off. Now this transistor turns on because the base of this transistor gets base current from this 22 kilo ohm resistance. Since this transistor is on, so this yellow LED will glow showing that the battery is low. If this section is not working, then check these transistors LED as well as these resistors. When a metal is close to the metal detector, and the metal detector does not beep, then check the DC voltage at the base of this transistor. It should be more than 0.7 volt. If the voltage is there but metal detector is still not beeping, then check this transistor, buzzer, red LED and resistance. 
If there is no voltage then check these two diodes. Also check AC voltage at pin number 2 and 6 of this operational amplifier LM324. If there is signal at pin number 2 and 6 of this IC LM324 and no signal at pin number 1 and 7 then replace IC LM324. LM324 has 4 operational amplifier but only 2 are used in this circuit. So we can also use LM358 dual channel operational amplifier with some modification in the circuit. Due to this potential divider network, the DC voltage at pin number 5 of this IC should be 0.4 volt. If there is no signal at pin number 2 and 6, then check both these transistors, registers and especially these disk capacitors as the signal is filtering and passing through these disk capacitors only. If all the components are good, then also check the transmitter and receiver coils. The resistance of these coils should be around 9 ohm. Both receiver and transmitter coil is in this elliptical casing. All components are good in this metal detector. The problem is in the adjustment of this 1 kilo ohm preset. The value of 1 kilo ohm preset may have changed over time. So let's adjust it. Before adjusting the preset, we remove the buzzer because its sound is too harsh to hear. You can see that the red LED is glowing continuously. Now adjust the preset so that the red LED just turns off. We can also adjust the sensitivity of this metal detector by this preset. The low battery indicator LED of this metal detector is also broken. So let's connect a new LED and also the buzzer to the circuit. You can see that the continuous beep sound has stopped and the metal detector is now working. Let's put the whole circuit back in the cabinet. First put the LEDs and then the main circuit. Now fit the 9V chargeable battery and close the outer cover.